welcome to this workout. We are doing a prenatal workout. It is a strength training workout. I do have cardio burst in there, but you do need some equipment. It is with dumbbells. So I have a set of five pounds, a set of eight pounds, and then I do have a 15 pounder. But if you just have one set of dumbbells, go for it. If you have soup cans, yes, great. Use bottles of water. Just have some sort of resistance for today's workout. Okay, you ready? We're going to get warmed up and then we'll jump into the workout portion. So right here about a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, we're gonna squat down and up. Down and up, that's it. Close this window a bit. Hopefully you can see me okay. Down and up, down and up. Okay, now as we get your body warmed up, it looks a little bit dark. Let me see if I can fix that. Whoa, whoa, definitely fixed it. <laughs> down and up, squat down and up, good. Now as you're squatting, we're aware of our connection. So we come down, draw in that marble, connect here, zip, and extend through those that spine. Good posture, draw in. So I'm drawing in that pelvic floor. If you have not started an, our playlist, it's linked in the description box where we go over and coach you and cue you through this. If it is your first workout with me and a first prenatal workout, welcome, welcome. We're stoked to have you here. Down and up, adding a rotation. Down and then I turn here, okay? Squat down and then I'm gonna turn here, okay? Down, exhale, pull in and up. Inhale, exhale, <laughs> exhale. <laughs> Do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> oh boy, I'm filming this at 21 weeks pregnant <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> I got some more um, prenatal appropriate shirts to work out in. Good, pulse it here. Mommy, help me. Fix your headband. Tell me what you want help with. Say, so can you help me with the headband? Mm -mm, the ball. Okay, help me with the kisses. The ball. Okay, I did it on the side like you like. Hold it there, hold the squat. We're gonna take it to a lunge series. Come here to the front of your workout area. Lunge back, find your balance, and back. So you're alternating. We're gonna do four on each side. We're just getting that body warmed up. We're doing, whoa. <laughs> Exercise is similar to what you're going to see in the bulk of your workout today. One more on each side. Good, that's it. Okay, here in the front, open the gate and close it. Other side, open the gate. Now, if you need to hold on to a wall, that's okay. You'll notice that your balance may be a little testy as baby belly is growing. <laughs> this workout's great for first trimester, second trimester, and also third trimester because it is low impact. <laughs> um, I love adding resistance as you get further along because it helps you to get your heart rate up. Also tone those muscles. We do have three rounds of each block, two blocks. One more on each side because it's like a burnout. <laughs> we wanna burn out. Whew, shake it out. Now march in place or jog in place. Just get a nice little glisten, glow. Little pregnancy glow going on. <laughs> Reach and pull those arms. Good. Now remember, you don't have to jog. You can be marching. I will always show modifications. You are the, you are the boss. You get to choose which ones to take. Make sure you're approved by your doctor before you do start a fitness program. Whew, talk test. Have you noticed that it's harder to get as much oxygen as it's becoming more limited? <laughs> it's okay, it's all worth it. We keep moving and grooving, we wanna feel good, that's why we show up. We want a healthy pregnancy, a healthy delivery, and healthy postnatal. Your recovery is going to be a little bit easier, you're gonna feel better, and be able to do things that you didn't know were possible. Your body's amazing, what a gift. Okay, shake it out, grab a drink. Let's get into it. It's very bright when I come close to you. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, block number one. Heavier dumbbells. I'm going to grab my 15 pound, but you could have, just double up with one of your other weights. Okay, it's a goblet squat. From here, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, down and up. Now think of that posture, I'm not hunching. I'm here and up, here and up. Now my knees are behind my toes. Think of that form, check down. Good, connect here in, the, in your core. Exhale and connect. Good, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Heart rate will get up as we're doing high repetition. Good, that's it. 
my sweater's hot, it's gotta come off. Time, 40 seconds down. I went to Nordstrom's Rack and got this sweater and this shirt. I just got not prenatal. I just get things that are long. So they cover baby belly. And this one looked like it was prenatal, but it wasn't. It's just stretchy. It's that brand Zell. Zell? Okay, same exercise. Goblet squat. Down and up. Good. Could you do this without a weight? Yes. We just like that resistance. I can turn that way too. Find whatever's comfortable. I just want to have good form. Thinking of your form. Pull that belly button. Hug baby is a better cue for our growing bellies. Down and up. Good. Love the low impact, but also the opportunity to burn out those muscles. So when we do three reps of the same exercise, it is going to burn out those muscles. Sometimes you're thinking, oh, that same exercise again? Erase that thought. Because think of the benefits it's going to give you as you're doing, and I'm the type that gets bored easily. <laughs> so I like the no repeats, but I know how important they are for your body and for your conditioning. So we do have those, but I like the variety. We do also have workouts that don't repeat. But don't neglect these just because they're not your favorite. <sighs> because they have such great benefits by burning out that one muscle, giving it a little overload. Down and up, good. Draw that pelvic floor in, marble draws in, hug baby. Good. They're playing babies and I hear this baby's crying. Yeah. That's it, last round. Remember it's three rounds on each exercise. Now they are all strength exercises except for exercise number five is a cardio burst. We have two blocks, first block is legs. All right, I'm going to grab my eight pound dumbbells. The next exercise is a lunge. As you're grabbing your weights, make sure you're doing good form. We don't want to strain the back, hurt in any way. It's a walking lunge. I'm gonna walk for two, turn around and walk back for two, okay? Let's go, walk left, lunge, tap, step, lunge, and then turn around. Okay, as much room as you have, maybe you only have room for one lunge and then you alternate, that's okay. Maybe you have enough room to do three or four. Just walk down the hall, walk through the house, doing your lunges. Connect that core, it's not just really relaxed. I'm not gripping, but I'm pulling my pelvic up. I can feel it engaged, there's a good word. I use connection a lot, but it's just engagement. <laughs> Who's been sneeze peeing? <laughs> I talked about this last time. Take a break. If you need to put your weights down, that's great. Yeah, me. This is the, the sneeze position. <laughs> that's why we work on our core connection. <laughs> so we have bladder control, so we feel better. Five seconds to go. Walking lunges. Again, working those legs. So at 21 weeks, I feel like my belly doubles. It's like that two, two squared. <laughs> So two squared is right, two times two is four, which would be the same two times two. But what if we like, um, we're at month five, five squared is 25, whereas five times two is 10. I'm doing weird math right now, I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel like every week is now squared rather than um, plus or multiply. It's we've now, we're now like really doubling. <laughs> Whew. <sighs> okay, 20 second break. That reminds me of a concept I love. It's the law of consistency. So even if you can come for 10 minutes a day, check in for five minutes a day, maybe you can only do half the workout today. That's okay. I want you to be consistent, showing up consistently. And if you haven't been in the past, make that a goal because of how it makes you feel and what's going to happen to your body, your mind, your control, your deep core your delivery, all that good stuff that's going to benefit. If you have a penny, since we're talking about multiplication, <laughs> you have a penny and you double it every other day, you would have about $500 at the end of the month. So your consistency is every other day. Whereas if you had that same penny and you double it every day oh. for 30 days, it's millions. Oh. So think of just the, the exponential growth that happens by showing up each day. 
I recommend 150 minutes of exercise a week. Whew, done with that one. We're going to just hug one weight with a kneeling position. If you have a mat, that might be nice for the knees. It's hamstrings and quads. You come back and you come forward, okay? Go as far back as you feel comfortable. Connect that core. So when I come back here, if I see any coning in my abs, I'm going to pause this, this exercise. So I have to connect, draw them from the pelvis, so I can do this exercise, working the quads and hamstrings. Now the coning is if I come to a point, if I'm having a really hard time avoiding that coning, let me show you another option. Ha, ha, ha. You can do your quads, hamstrings. Keep going on that one. But you can go here and then bring it forward to the quad, okay? That's more of a hip flexor, but here's your hamstring and then bring it forward. All right, alternating. So here's an option. If that other one is causing coning in your abdomen, wow. options, options. I love this one on the floor because I like shaking Mommy. after. Yeah. I'm filming a workout buggy. Okay, you got 10 seconds, then we're going again. Consistency, think of that penny. Millions each day. So 150 minutes, a great way to meet that. I say five to six days a week you're working out. Connect before you do the exercise. So I'm not coning if you're doing this version. The other version is with the, um, the extension, the hamstring ex extension, and then your hip flexor. Mommy, yeah. I always like workouts 30 minutes or less. This one's going to go a little bit over 30 minutes. That's okay. Sometimes when you do the strength, you need a little bit more time to get all the reps. Are you helping me? Thanks so much. Yeah, now pull me forward. Help me on that one. Oh, thank you. Okay, we have one more round on that. If it bothers your knees at all, go to the standing position. Oh, careful with that, baby. You don't have shoes on. When you carry weights, you need shoes on, okay? Whew, I'm sweating, I'm glistening. We have eight more minutes. One more time through this exercise. Do you wanna use the five pound? You can use the lighter pound, but you need to kneel because you don't have shoes on. Back, connect and then go. This one. Uh -huh. Quads, quads, hamstrings. Don't drop that on your toes, honey. That will really hurt. Do honey. Yeah, kneel down in front of me. You can do the same exercise. Do honey. Okay. Like this? Yeah. I just hold it right here. Like this? Yeah. Good job. Now come up on your knees like mommy. Good, now just rock back and forth, back and forth. Good job, we're all done. Exercise number three, all done. Now grab both of your dumbbells or you can have the big 15 pounder if you have one of those around. We're doing a sumo squat pulse. Legs are out, my weights are on my thighs. Okay, right there you're gonna squat. You're gonna come down for three, two, one, and then all the way up. Good job, Ava. Yeah, those are kind of heavy. Do them without weights. Ava's your modifier. <laughs> okay, show them the sumo squat. Have your toes out like mommy. Toes out. There you go. Now squat down. Two, three. Have your feet a little bit closer together. They're going to make you do the splits. <laughs> That's when your legs foot all the way. Connect. Now as I extend all the way up, feel that really good connection where I draw in from that pelvic floor. Picking up a marble. So right here, draw in, zip, hug. It's an engagement from the pelvis and from the muscles there. Okay, 15 more seconds. We're going back to that three pulse sumo squat. I'll center myself a little bit for you. Our modifier's taking a break. It's a lot of hard work. Man, I am sweating. Two, three, and extend all the way up, draw in the pelvic floor. Good. Here, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Good, three, two, one. Draw in pelvic floor, zip and hug, extend through that spine. Three, two, one. I love intense workouts and options that are going to get your heart rate up 
and then I like to create the exercises so you can do them throughout your pregnancy. Sometimes I've come to find that for resources for myself, I'll do a workout and I'm thinking, oh, that exercise is not good for my core, or I can't do that exercise. I can't lay on my tummy and do Superman. So it's so nice to have these exercises, these workouts curated specifically for your journey. I hope that you're able to really love these. Um, they've been so fun to create. And up, good. Last round, two, one, and up. Now our last exercise is our cardio exercise. I'm pretty sure the heater came on because I'm dripping. Are you guys dripping? Today I've just been having heat flashes. I, I um, coach teachers online. This morning my face went bright red and I remember that from my last, this is my third pregnancy where I'll just have like a heat flash. And I'm like, oh man, here it comes. And I have no control. My face just feels bright red. I'm like, yep, that just happened time okay we're going to go ahead and put those weights down for our cardio it's a squat to a lunge now let me show you the modification as I step out squat and then I alternate lunge lunge tap lunge now if you want to add in a hop or a plyometric I squat lunge lunge okay let's go squat lunge lunge squat <sighs> Talk test during the cardio burst. Make sure you're able to talk comfortably. You're not struggling to catch your breath. If so, we go to the modification. Keep moving. If you ever get lightheaded, take a break. Do not, we do not want you to be lightheaded. As your blood volume is increasing, and if you move from a low plane to a high plane, you may be getting lightheaded because you're moving a lot more blood through your body. Come on. Hi, caramba. I tried to have my hair down. It didn't work. <laughs> it's too hot. We got two more rounds of that cardio burst. And then we're back to the strength training. And we're going to be working the upper half. I'm going to have crazy hair. Whatever. <laughs> Squat and then lunge. We can do this. Yes, it's challenging. Yes, we're going to be so proud of ourselves when we're done with this exercise. <sighs> You get to do this. Your body's a gift. This pregnancy's a gift. It's all in the mindset. Even if you're not feeling good, you're feeling tired, think about what you have control over. The amount of sleep you get, the food you put into your body, kind of, right? Like those cravings. I don't have any control over those. <laughs> the water you're consuming, have a water bottle with you. Even if it makes you have to pee a lot, it's okay. One more round. We can do this. Final round. Bring on all the long shirts. Um, so my last pregnancy was, my baby was due in February. This baby's due in March. I love being pregnant in the winter because those that are pregnant this summer, I was with my first one. We lived in Oregon and it was like a heat wave summer. No air conditioning. We had to go and buy like a, this like temporary air conditioning that you put out the window. Oh my gosh. Knees behind your toes. Connect that core. And I remember going to bed with ice packs on my body, just dying of heat. And I worked with the recreation department. So outside running kid camps, sports camps. I was just so hot and swollen. I feel for you. I was like, I don't, I can't do another summer baby. <laughs> Whoo! Okay guys, we're going to bent over row. Grab your lighter dumbbells. Actually, let's start with your eights. <sighs> okay, reverse grip. So now my palms are facing the forward. I bend from the hips. I'm going to pull up and down. Working your back. Also working those triceps. Catch your breath. We get upper body, and then we have some core exercises here at the end. Remember the high repetition, overloading that body is going to give you good um, breakdown of the muscles so they can rebuild up stronger. Long lean muscles with high rep. Good. That's it. 
Are you feeling any ligament pain? Like when you get a sharp stretch here or here? Good. Time. Shake it out. How are you doing? You doing good? If you needed to stop and grab a drink, please do. Please do. <laughs> We're going in 10 seconds. Same exercise. We're gonna bend from that the hips and reverse row. Reverse grip. Row. Okay? Row. Good, that's it. Now make sure I'm not just relaxing here. Not that I'm gripping my abs, but I'm still connecting. Our rule of thumb is connect and then do the exercise. Drawn from the pelvic floor. Engage there. A lot of times they'll talk about kegel exercises or the feeling of the stop the stop the flow of urine. But I want you to think of even more because there's a front, a middle, and a back to your pelvic floor. So I want to engage all portions. Here. One. Ha! 20 seconds. After I had Ava, I remember getting very interested in pelvic floor, deep core, um, Pilates, did a lot of research. I became certified in Pilates. It was such a great learning time because when I was pregnant with my second baby, I realized, and this might be something too that you might be realizing or that you already knew, that I was doing exercises that were not actually benefiting me. So I was doing crunches to like third trimester, which was not smart. Or I was doing planks without the correct cueing or knowledge. And so I hope that by taking the time I have in the last three, five years, <laughs> she's five now, to learn these things and share them with you, coach you through them. I hope that you can benefit from them. Not only can you learn how to do them, but also just be educated. Take the time to research pelvic floor. Ha! Okay, we're gonna do tricep. It's a single arm tricep. So you're gonna hold the weight with one arm. My other arm is just kind of lightly grip to balance. So I'm gonna come down and up, down and up. Now this other hand is just balanced because if I don't have it, I'm kind of going wacky and crazy. So this one's just there to hold a good balance. Down, up, down, up, good. So working the back of that arm, it's a smaller muscle. Oh, honey, just sit it to the side, okay? Just sit it right there and I'll come help you in a minute. That's good, I'll put it away. Okay, now if you're arching during this, try and not tuck too much, but have a nice natural. So I'm not arching like this, that can become very easy as your belly's starting to grow, to have an arch. So just a slight pelvic tuck, not too extreme. Oh, let's give that left arm a breaky break. Moving on to the right arm. So again, this one's holding the weight, the other one's just there for support. I got you, I'm your sports bra. Yeah, that's what this hand is saying. Okay, we're almost ready to go. Eight seconds, and then we're gonna jump into that right arm. Are you guys feeling good? Yeah, of course we are. We're almost done. <laughs> are we? Are we? <laughs> Nance, are we really almost done? Or are you just saying that? There's no way to be sure. Just keep going. That's all that matters. Down, up. There's a light above me, so I don't want to bang it. Down, up. Good. Hugging that elbow in tight. If it starts to flare out, I'm no longer targeting my tricep. So I want my hand, my elbow to stick close to my head as it goes down and up. Good. Check that posture. Connecting that core. That's it. Down and up. Whew. Here we go. Ha! All right, guys, now we're going to do both arms together. I'm still going to only hold one weight, but both are evenly going to hold it for the last 40 seconds in this series. Whew. Yes, good. Oh, my screen went black. Let me get that going. Five more seconds. Three, two, get ready. Elbows are hugging. Down and up. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. Down, extend, down, extend. Good, down. Extend, my little battery sign came on. <laughs> so I might be switching cameras, but you don't have to stress, that's my job. I'll take care of it, I got you. I got you, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I got lots of camera backups, even my phone can work, right? We just gotta get this workout in, out, and on with life. Down 
and up. 10 more seconds. If you're starting to arch or your arms are starting to wear down, just stop. You don't want to do the exercise with incorrect form. It's only going to hurt. It's not going to benefit. Okay, we're going to chest press. Now this is something that you can do either on a, an exercise ball or you could also do this on the floor. So if I don't have an exercise ball, because I did not mention to go grab one, if you do have one, grab it. <laughs> if not, you can be on the floor. Okay, get comfy. We're here, press up, working that chest. Also the inner like armpit area. You should feel this nice there. So I have my hips up. Good. I love, love, love the exercise ball during pregnancy because it allows me to do exercises, target muscles that maybe I can't do without it. I can't go on without you. Help me. That's not even a song. I just made it up. Good. Also working those legs if you're using the exercise ball. That's it. Woo. Time. Okay, take a little break. I might just sit down here. Ah, I'm not sure if I love that position. I'm ready to go. Got 10 more seconds. You can sit your weights to the side if you'd like, or just put them on your chest. That's a bad idea. Don't do that. <laughs> I had to fix my shirt. <laughs> okay, lift the hips up and down. So working our glutes, our legs, our pelvic floor is engaged. Up and down. Working that chest. Good. That's it. Mama's getting strong. Working hard. It's not a walk in the park. You can challenge yourself throughout your pregnancy. It's just all about being aware and educated on what could possibly hurt or um, not benefit you that you could be doing. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep exploring and being creative in exercises that feel okay for you. Um, your body may take things differently. Maybe you'll have tight muscles. Maybe you dr are drawn to yoga and doing yoga exercises. Really just keep moving. That's the biggest, I think the biggest thing is to stay active. Not using your pregnancy as a, a, cl a crutch or an excuse to not fully live your life for the next you know, nine months. <laughs> I probably shared in the previous video, I don't know, but I watched that show Clouds on um, Netflix. I think I did. I've been sharing it with everyone. My favorite quote from it was, you don't have to find out you're dying to, to start living. I agree so much. Keep going on that one. <laughs> 10 seconds on it. Three, two, one. Yes, you were here. I had 10 more seconds left when my camera died, so. That's what happened there. All right, guys, we're moving to the next exercise. I'm going to either roll up, roll up like this, or get on my side to roll up, okay, right? We don't want to do any crunching there. Um, we're going to move to our bicep shoulder press. So, bicep curl shoulder press, our final exercise. Bicep curl, turn, press, down, turn, and, and, and control that downward motion, okay? So I'm coming up, turn, get a light above me, press, Good, now we have to connect to control and, and to not um, arch or lose our form. We want a firm foundation as we're doing this exercise. I might have to grab the lighter dumbbells. I'm pretty exhausted. How are you feeling? This is the last exercise, so yes, we can do it. My focus is going in and out, I'm not sure why. Here I am, press up, down, good, turn and down. Okay, we have two more rounds of that and then we'll be jumping into our cardio and then core. I'm just gonna tilt you guys a little bit. Nobody wants a cricket video. <laughs> All right, we're going in eight seconds, back to that bicep curl. Now I control all of the upward motion and also eccentric motion by doing the downward. Okay, curl up, turn those arms, press here. Now I'm connected from the pelvis. Connect, draw it in. Now let's take a, a side view so we can look at that spine and alignment. Curl, and then notice when I press up, I'm not arching. If I'm starting to arch, or if I'm straining to press those arms, I need a lighter dumbbell, or drop the dumbbells. <sighs> I control down, as well as up. Turn, press, control, control, turn, here and down. I love, 
love strength training it's so much fun and especially if we're adding in those cardio bursts because you know and i know or maybe we don't know yet that those cardio bursts is that's what's going to burn those calories that's what's going to increase your metabolism it's going to help burn calories later on so we always like to include those curl cardio burst they're interval work i love the hit workouts the interval work is what this entire series is based on because of the research that shows you can get the biggest bang for your buck. I can spend 30 minutes or less doing interval training, whereas if I spent two hours running doing an aerobic exercise, so keeping a steady pace without the sprint stop, sprint stop, I would not burn as many calories. It would take me longer. I would need to work out longer. That does not mean that endurance training and long runs is not beneficial and helpful. It is. I'm talking about we're busy moms. <laughs> we need um, the biggest bang for a buck because we don't have a lot of time. So give me 30 minutes or less and what's the, what's the best exercises I can do in that 30 minutes to see the most benefits. That's what we do. Okay, last round guys. You ready? Follow out. Yeah, we are. We're ready for the final countdown. Those shoulders should be starting to tire. You'll notice those muscles may, might start shaking because of the repetition, because we're doing three repetitions. Sometimes in that series we have four. <sighs> Not a lot, because nobody wants to get bored, <laughs> but it's important to also include in your training. Okay, controlling the motion down, controlling that motion up. Now maybe you're doing this series with a spouse or maybe you're not pregnant at this time, it's still going to challenge you. I just have specifically made this so every exercise is okay while you're pregnant. The modifications we do will be okay to do. Okay, we're going to just a run in place or march in place. You could walk around the house, but I also want to engage the upper half by pressing and pulling. Okay, this is your cardio. We're going to do three different types of cardio on this last one, and then we'll be finished. Da, 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 da. I might have repeated that one too many times. So we only have two, we have two. So I'm gonna do a glute kicker, and press and pull, press and pull, press and pull. Okay, so we only have two. I repeated one too many times. Don't know which one. Hi, coming up close, so we can chat. Like we're on a run together, best buds. We got this, right? <laughs> Even if we don't think we do. We've got it. That's it. So important to have that good mindset, active body, healthy baby. I'm praying for you, hoping that you're feeling good, hoping that you're having a healthy pregnancy and things are going well. And if some things are unknown, I'm hoping that you have the strength and the courage to take them on with positivity. Okay guys, last round is a boxer shuffle. Side, side, like this. Okay, boxer shuffle. And we're going to add in a jab on the left. One, go. Now I can just bounce on my feet or lift those feet up a little bit. Boxer shuffle, jab on the left. Good, that's it. Proud of you for showing up. The hardest part of every workout is just pushing play. Putting on the workout clothes, right hand. A little trick for you, a little tip. I will get in my workout clothes first thing in the morning. Now I, I do some things on the computer first. I do live coaching, any of my teaching or coaching online. And then I know my workout about eight o'clock. Eight to nine, seven or eight, I'll know the workout. So I do my live coaching, but I'm in my workout clothes underneath. So it's just nice to have that on. Now I'm gonna do it before I get ready that day. Okay guys, you're done with your cardio. We're moving on to our core and our final exercises. If you have a mat, great. Mine's been confiscated by the wee ones. We're going to do a number of reps on this. I'm not going to be doing the timer. We're at 30 minutes. And I know that we're over that because we had a warm up as well. So hands are here. I'm just gonna show you some safe exercises for the core while you are pregnant. So extend your left arm, right leg, knee, to chest, good, that's it. It is lunch time, I'm ready for lunch. <laughs> Kids are playing, family's playing, we're having a good time, it actually sounds like they left. I wonder if they went outside. Okay, give me two more. We're gonna do another series of eight on this side. 
eight, seven, six, another five, another four, yes, three, oh, I hear them, two, and one, one more series of eight, yes, remember that three reps, that overload burnout, good, last four, so we're not doing a crunch, crunch or flexion of the exterior abs, this is more um, that deep core, three, I think I went two, <laughs> I don't know, one, sit back, child's pose, let's do the other side, it's three rounds of eight, I didn't want to tell you before, but now you kind of know, eight, <laughs> seven, six, good, engage, zip up here, I'm not just letting this relax, two, and one, okay, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, that's it, three, we don't have too many core exercises here at the end, just want to give you some options, last eight, last seven, Last six, you've been working your core throughout the entire series. We've been cueing on it. Last four, last three, last two. You got this, yes. Sit back to child's pose. Now, favorite exercise of mine, I'll show you some modifications. It's a bear hover. So I need to connect through my core zip here so I'm not coning in the abs. And then I'm going to turn and sit on my hips, okay? Come back here, I can put my knees down, and then I'm going to turn, okay? So working those obliques. Come back here. Now, in intermediate advanced, I hover my knees, I come through, and I kick. Hover my knees, come through, and I wanna avoid any twisting in the abs. I don't want to twist, have every portion of this exercise controlled. Kick, here. If I feel like I'm coning at any moment, take the modification here. And then I come to my hip, and then I come over here, and I come to my hip. Also working your upper half. Okay, give me one more on each side. <sighs> Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, let's sit down, bend that left leg in. Let's pull you down, curl with the hands over to the right. Whew, that feels good. Having that nice stretch on the side. Curl with the hands over your bent leg. Way to go, I'm proud of you. You made it to the end. It was not a short workout. One of our longer, if not longest, cartwheel the hands over because it was so focused on the strength. Aha! Good. Cartwheel over. That's it. Now take both feet in. I'm going to turn the bottoms of my feet towards the sky. Good posture. Pushing the knees down towards the floor. Bend from the waist. A nice groin stretch here. Don't want to overstretch any ligaments, especially any arching. I really want to avoid overstretching that belly. It's already stretching a lot. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, let's extend the both legs straight for a hamstring stretch. Bend from the waist. I'm getting all sorts of the rug on my pants, which is really fun. It'll be really fun to clean off. Uh, who, else, who else has young kids? that think anything in the house is a toy. <laughs> I have one of those tape things. It's gone because now it's a toy. <laughs> There's like spoons. I'm like, I love their creativity, but I can never find anything. <laughs> I'm sure it's my fault that I just let it happen, but <laughs> I'm like, where's the spoons? Where's this? I couldn't find my whiteboards. Yeah, the kids have taken them. Hamstring stretch, take those knees down towards the floor. We did that hamstring, um, or quad stretch, sorry. We did that quad exercise in the first block. Good, walk your hands over. We're gonna take it to downward dog. Get a nice calf stretch. Push those shoulders down. Take a little walk. That's it. Walk those hands so you're bent over. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Good, big shoulder roll. Big shoulder roll. All right, guys, that's a close. Inhale up. Whoa, light. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
Way to go. I hope to see you in the next workout. Remember to check out in the, in the description box, I have the playlist as well as a calendar if you would like to check that out. Okay, it's all there for you. I'll see you in the next workout. Also, please comment, let me know, did you like this strength training workout? Was it one that you kind of had to push through? You know it's good for you, but you didn't love it. <laughs> let me know. I wanna hear from you. Your feedback is everything because that's how I know what content to create. That's how I know how to better serve you. So I will see you in the comments. Bye guys.